So we all know what a windsurf board looks like, but what are the essentials? So you have the board, you have the fin, you have the mass base, and then you have the foot straps. It was such an up and down to make this beast. It's alive. And man, it's the sickest board I ever had. So last night, Lars and I were here in my new storage. More about that a little bit later. And you know, we were just being boys fooling around and we had this, I don't know, kind of stupid idea. And we were playing around with wood and fins and you know, we have all this old wood here. And we had kind of the idea that maybe we want to make a windsurf board out of a plank. What would happen if you just have a plank of wood and put a sail on it. I think uh, that's what we're gonna try today. And you know, there are a lot of question marks. First of all, how are we gonna put the fin into the plank? How are we gonna put the sail on it with a mass base? Uh, will it even float? Can you maybe jump with it? So there are a lot of question marks, a lot of challenges ahead, but uh, yeah, we're kind of down for the challenge. A lot of serious stuff lately on this channel. So today, yeah, maybe something a little bit stupid. Okay, so how do we get from this to this? <laughs> or at least somewhere close. So let's see what we're dealing with. A normal windsurf board is about 72 centimeter wide, 10 centimeters thick and 230 long. We have a plank, an OSB board, which is 250 centimeter long. Pretty standard, 68 centimeters wide and a thickness of two and a half centimeters. Okay, so first things first, we obviously will need a fin. We could obviously just drill a piece of wood into the board, but we want a little bit of performance at least. Although we could actually shape this piece of wood and make it a proper wooden fin, but maybe that's something for the next video. So yesterday we already had uh, quite some ideas of how to go about it. Our idea basically was to build uh, some kind of a fin box on top of the board with another piece of wood on top and then uh, slide it into the board. Epic! Wow, so obviously it's still moving a bit, but that's what we're building the box for. Okay, so here's the idea. This is going to be our fin box. Bats, bats. These two blocks, we screw them into the OSB board. This one comes on top. The fin can be slid in and slid out like that. And then we just need an, a little adapter because the fin doesn't quite uh, yeah, fill the whole box. Finally, all those years of foiling are paying off. <laughs> we just took the foil shims. Perfect, now it's nice and flush, roughly. Now we can screw this one on top and then screw the fin into the wood plank. And we're good to go. This fin isn't going anywhere. Look at this. Next up is the mass base. I think it should go relatively far to the back because we don't have any scoop and otherwise we're going to be shooting through the waves with the nose. So it shouldn't be too far forward and more in the back. Pretty straightforward, I think. Whoop. We just drill a hole, put the mass base in, screw comes in from the back. We might have to yeah, create some space, make the board a little bit thinner in this area so that it fits and I think we should create several positions. <laughs> um, so just in case uh, yeah, we're not right spot on. We're getting a bit desperate. So this over here looks kind of good, right? So we have the plate here. So we're on the bottom of the board now, right? plate fits in perfectly, mass base comes in from the other side and the screw goes on top. The problem is this plate is for fin screws 
And since we had this great idea on the weekend and it's Sunday today, the shops are not open, so we can't just go and buy something new. So we have to deal with what we have here. And that kind of makes the challenge more interesting anyways. But uh, we don't have a plate with a bigger hole. We don't have a big enough drill to make the hole big enough. So I'm thinking we kind of need a tool sponsor for the shack here. And I feel like we should make it the, the perfect winter workshop, which has everything you need. And of course, we will show you everything what's going on inside here once everything is ready. So there will be a video, of course, but uh, right now we have the problem that we don't have enough tools, so we're not getting anywhere really. And we don't find anything that has a hole big enough for the mass base. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, four different mass positions. There should be enough options. What's next? Somewhere around the fin, a little bit forward of the fin. The question is how far inside? I think anyway, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. Maybe that's an upgrade for next time that we're just flat on top of the board. Normally we want a, we're gonna want a little bit of an angle for the foot, but uh, I think we can't do that today. That's something for next time. So now we just gotta decide about the decision. That too, of course. <laughs> Whew. That worked. Now we gotta get the, the right distance so that the width of the foot strap is fine. Uh, and then we can drill through again and put the next screw. Wow, perfect. Looking more and more like a windsurfboard. Okay, so we do have the basics. We have the mass base, we have the foot straps, we have the fin. I'm sure you guys have many more ideas, so uh, please let us know in the comments what else you would have done or how you would have done things differently. So obviously there are a thousand, if not a million ways to build the board. We wanted to keep it basic. We wanted to kind of use the things we have around us. So this is what we ended up with, but then we decided to put a little bit of scoop. So the scoop defines how much the nose of the board is bending up. My idea is we take one of those wood planks that we find here and we cut a little bit of an angle into this piece of wood, right? And once we have that angle, we screw the wood plank on top of here and we screw the board to the plank. And that way we should get a little bit of an angle in the nose, at least in theory. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a bit of scoop. Now some fine tuning and then we're almost ready to go. That's it, we're done. We will show you the beauty in full when we get down to the beach. Here we are. I think we caught a good day because if this will work at all, it needs to be a super windy day. It looks like we're having like something like 30 knots. So if it works, then it will be today. And we have good weather. You can say what you want about the board, but some people are interested in it. People are looking. I think they want to buy it. How much would you pay for the board? Yeah. 
a thousand bucks. Yeah, I think if we make it 20 euros for the for the wood. Okay, the fin, fin is more expensive, maybe 200 for the fin. You, we could upgrade it, we could put a carbon fin, chopper fin, 380 euros. Ah, 400 euros to make, with the fin being the majority of that price. Ja, ich weiß. Das, das ist ein längeres Projekt, so Stück für Stück. Ist der Slim Shady heißt das Modell. And then it was time to get the beauty on the water and man we were so curious if it will actually work at all and if it works how good it will work so so many question marks and now we will finally get the answers. So obviously when I first went out with the board, first of all, it was pretty heavy to just carry it out there. And straight away, I got the feeling that it's just not gonna work. Because as soon as you step your feet onto the plank, it would just sink straight away. Breathe you like a cigarette, love sick, I'm feeling it. You're not the one, but I still want you like the beat in my chest. Love sick, I'm feeling it. I know you're not the one, but I still wanna light up. first few tries I kind of had to get used to the feeling and the wind was a bit gusty so I didn't make it that far out so I would just walk back to the beach and try it one more time and then I had this one run where everything lined up and I just kept going and kept going but at some point I realized if I don't make that jibe I'm gonna be stuck outside here because there's no way I'm gonna water start this thing so I actually had to make that jibe. It worked! It worked! May I have your attention please? The real Slim Shady! <laughs> the Slim, Slim Shady 67 Wood Pro guys! That was so fun! So difficult but so fun! Obviously it sinks straight away, there is no volume whatsoever. So as soon as you jump on, the board sinks. So the only way to make it work is run into the beach start, have already some movement in the board, jumps straight on the right place on the board and then go and then when i was out there i was like ah not sure i'm gonna come back in but if you time the wave right you can kind of jump on the wave and go and man it's the sickest board i ever had it was such an up and down to make this beast and uh, yeah to see that it 
you can go like 40 knots with it, it's just insane. What's your guess for max speed? Like 15 knots. You? 17. 12 knots. <laughs> Hey, come on, 20 kilometers per hour, what do you want? But I have already a few tuning ideas, so first of all, I think we forgot the air vent screw. I think it sucked some water, not sure. Apart from that, I don't know if you guys could see that, but whenever I went into the foot straps, the board wanted to shoot up wind. Maybe we put the foot straps a little bit too far in the back, but also what we can do is we can put the mass base a little bit further forward. So that should uh, help with that problem. I'm just stoked that it worked at all, actually. We still have the problem of the board wanting to go upwind a little bit. It got better with the mass space further forward, but one uh, foot strap is almost ripped out now. Um, and the front foot strap going out. So when I go into that one and I want to move into the back one, I have to really pull up with the front one and then it will rip out completely. So I can't really get in the back strap. So foot strap position is a bit off. One is uh, about to fall out, but I did two planing giants and <laughs> I feel like it's going better every, every reach. You kind of get used to it. I wanted to jump, but impossible with this ripped out foot strap. But uh, yeah, a lot of things to improve, but uh, we never tried to make it perfect straight away. Uh, but uh, quite some ideas to make it better already. Okay, gear is trimmed and tuned. Now the competitions can come. I did the 17.7 knots max speed. So I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, although the board is getting way, way heavier, I can barely carry it now. I didn't expect it to suck so much water in such short time i i would say it's probably 30 to 40 kilograms now it's really really heavy so it didn't make it easier you have to jump on even more you need even more wind to get it going but uh, it was still challenging and fun and it was a, a very good experience and that's what windsurfing is about it's all about the experience talking about experiences i have another windsurfing experience in turkey alachati this year so uh, I want to invite you over. The link is down below. Sign up if you want to join us for a great windsurfing experience in al in Turkey. Windsurfing in board shorts, coaching, learning, experiencing the country. It's going to be awesome and it would be lovely to have you guys over there. So check the link down below. You will find it there. So this was a super random yet fun project for us. And if you guys think that we should keep it going and improve the board a little bit, because we have a lot of ideas to improve it, then please let us know in the comments and also be sure to subscribe. So maybe we can make a series out of it. And also if you want to go on a super epic windsurfing experience with me, check the link down below. Join us in Alachati. And I would say I see you guys in the next video.